a high Brentec year where tech is made simple. So back in March of this year, I posted a video, which I'll leave in the end screen of this video, that Google, Mozilla, Apple, and Microsoft had all contributed to Speedometer 3, which is a tool that tests your browser performance. Now, go check that video out if you want more info. And just a quick word of caution, if flashing lights are not your thing, then maybe this is not the video for you because there's quite a bit of flashing lights during this test. Now, while this test runs, I'm just going to carry on. Now, Speedometer, um, in case you're unaware, is a browser benchmark that measures the responsiveness of web applications. And how it does this is it uses demo web apps to simulate user actions such as adding to do items, as you can see. Now, according to uh, Google from a recent Chromium uh, blog post, they say that Chrome has achieved the highest score on Speedometer 3, and um, their tests were run on a M M3-powered Mac uh, PC. So because, um, obviously, this was just run on that machine, it is possible if it's run on another machine, the results could vary, but obviously it does give us a good indication. Now, according to Google, um, and from the uh, Chromium blog post, and I'm quoting, they say, basically, they tracked um, Chrome's performance over time as the updated benchmark was being developed. And um, since the inception of Speedometer 3 back in May of 2022, they mentioned that they've driven a 72% increase in Chrome's Speedometer score, which they say translates into performance gains for their users. They also mentioned that by looking at the workloads in Speedometer and in which functions Chrome was spending the most time, they were able to make targeted optimizations to those functions that each drove an increase in Chrome's score. That's according to Google from that Chromium blog post. Now, how these optimizations were achieved, and just to give you some examples, they say, and Google mentions, that they enhanced the handling of space-separated strings, reduced the cost of drawing paths and arcs, they streamlined the creation of form editors, they optimized the query selector function for common use cases, and um, they also prioritize the optimization of specific code segments within the browser engine. So those are just a couple examples how Google says they achieved these results. And if we look at these results, um, just a quick um, side note here. My last score when I posted back in um, March was 7.83 on Chrome. And... My recent score, as you can see, is 4.46. Now, obviously, this is um, with a screen recorder running in the background and trying to get the results. But nonetheless, there's the differences between um, my two scores between March and June of 2024. And something else to, to take note of is that um, over and above that, if we head to this uh, chart, yeah, is speedometer 3 on on Chrome using the M3 um, uh, MacBook, as mentioned. And here we can see their score, which started in Chrome 101. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right up to Chrome 127. And so that's Chrome 127, as you can see. Currently, we are sitting on Chrome 125, soon to be upgraded next week to 126. 127 is currently what's available uh, in the... Uh, in sorry, in the um, the preview versions of the browser. So according to uh, Google, that's how the browser has increased its speed using this test system. And according to Google, they now say that, um, according to this, that Chrome is now the fastest web browser again. And that's according to Google. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm sure this is going to generate a bit of interest. But just putting it out there and um, just wanted to put it out there in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.